And we are now to the point where we can talk about neurofeedback itself. What is it that we do in a typical neurofeedback session? Well, as you're gonna notice, maybe you didn't miss it yet, but I got the famous cat sitting on my head right now, and I'm actually set up and ready to go to illustrate a session for you. So you can see our little cap. I got a little bit of gel that's already in there for training, couple of ear leads, and that's really all it is. When we first have you come in, put that cap on and get you set up and ready to go. Now the key of understanding neurofeedback is to understand that we're creating a feedback loop. Now in this feedback loop, the neuro part is my brain. That's why I got the cap on. It's reading the electrical activity that's going on. So here we go. I'm gonna take my electrical cap here. It's actually not electrified, don't worry. There's nothing that's gonna hurt you. It's all passive training, receiving, listening to my electrodes. So to the, the electrodes are listening to what's going on in my head. This here is what's called an amplifier that amplifies the signal and then sends it out over there to the computer. Now our computer at this point in time has already been programmed with exactly what to look for in my brain in order to train my brain. So we'll have you, Chris, you wanna plug this in? We're gonna start it up. Sounds good. And show them the actual, the actual signal, what's going on there. Now, if you wanna come around, here's the next key. So we started with my brain, sent the signal to the computer that's looking for things. Now, do you hear that sound? That's my brain being good. So one of the feedbacks that I am receiving is in the form of a sound. See, my, my brain thinks it's pretty cool in order to hear noises, right? It's, if it can generate a noise, um, it, it thinks that's very cool. And it does it pre-consciously. In fact, you can tell I'm talking to you and my brain is still causing that noise to come on. So what's going on is every time my brain is doing what we want it to, my computer makes that noise. Now there's another element that I'm gonna show you in just a moment where we add a dimension to it that makes this a lot more fun. So you'll actually sit in this room and watch a TV show. And while you're watching that show, we have this thing called a dimmer screen that dims and brightens the screen. Now, every time that screen is bright, that is the feedback to my brain saying, good job, you're doing what we want you to do. And when it dims, that's when the, the feedback is no good. No, 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 you don't wanna do that brain, you wanna do something else. So let's take anxiety, for instance. If I, if I have an anxiety feature that's in my brain that's showing up, as soon as it gets kind of worse, the screen dims. And then when the anxiety is a little bit better, it brightens again. And then if my anxiety worsens, it dims. And then when it gets better, it brightens. And that's all you get over and over is a bright, dim, bright, dim screen. And that's literally my computer dialoguing with my brain and the electrical rhythms of my brain through a TV screen that has both the dimmer screen and these audible cues. Now, before I show you real quick what this is all about and just kind of give the sample of it, um, this works because the fundamental nature of your brain is to look for patterns and seek rewards. Some people would call it behavioral conditioning. I kind of disagree with that a little bit. I think that behavioral conditioning is rooted in this reality of how our brains function, right? Our brains are gonna figure out that there's a reward. In other words, the screen comes on or the, the, the sound goes off um, when it changes the electrical rhythm that's associated with anxiety. My brain wants to watch TV more than it wants to be anxious. So it will replicate a non-anxious baseline over and over and over again in order to keep the TV screen on. And the beauty of it is you don't even have to think about it. Your brain's gonna do it automatically. So the only thing you have to do is sit back, woo, I'm gonna like pull my own head off, and relax. So I'm gonna start on this one in just a minute. Here we go, watching a little bit of Infinity Wars. And the screen, that's the dimmer screen. See how it got dark? Bright. There you go, darkening and brightening. It's very gentle. And it's not that difficult to see. It's not that difficult to do. 
Now when you do neurofeedback training, this is what you do. You literally sit here and you watch TV for about a half an hour, appointments are about 45 minutes long, and that's it. Watching TV while we retrain your brain. Doesn't get much better than that.